Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. Hello, Harsha. Hi, sir. Is BCA good to become full stack developer? See, BCA has nothing to do with full stack developer. BCA is a degree and that degree is valuable for you to get a job. That just says that you have spent so many years studying something. Okay. That does not tell whether you are a full stack developer. That does not tell whether you know JavaScript really well. That does not tell whether you know front-end technologies, back-end technologies, uh, whether you know database programming well. It does not tell you that. Okay. BCA, the degree, or even the BE, BTEC, or BSc, or MSc degree has nothing to do with the skills you have gained while you are studying. So if you want to prove that you are a good full stack developer, then learn these skills, full stack development skills, learn the front end, back end, database development, try to build a project or do an internship. The easiest way to get education is to do an internship. Do a three months to six months internship at a good place where you will learn everything. And even if there you don't get uh, to work on a live project, if you start understanding whatever they are building, whatever the engineers are building, six months is more than enough to study anything. Okay. If you start studying what they are building, how they are uh, putting the code, where they are putting it, how they are setting up the server, how they are building the front end, how they are building the back end, how they are managing the database, how they are deciding what database to use. Okay. How they are taking the requirements, converting it to code. If you start learning this as an intern, and you will have that project to show that this is what I have done as an intern and I'm a full stack developer, then you will get a good job as a full stack developer. Okay. BC has nothing to do with full stack development. Whether you have a BC or you don't have a BC, you can still become full stack developer. Okay. There are so many courses which are available in full stack development, which are very easy. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned in, in, in the description of this video, you'll find uh, amitpatels.com slash resources in that I've made a PDF. You know, I've, I've spent so much of time searching for these courses and putting it all in one place, but you can look at that PDF and you'll find a lot of full stack development courses on that. And you can see if you want to do the full stack development course, because that will give you the complete picture of a full stack, what, what is required for a full stack developer. Okay. Uh, and if, if you are, if in college you do a full stack development course, uh, within college, let's say in your college, you have front, they are teaching you front end technology, back end technology, database, and you do a project of full stack, even that is fine. Okay. So, uh, it depends on what you are learning in your syllabus. But, uh, earlier in this, earlier in this video, Somebody asked me, should I do MCA after BCA? And I've given a very good reply to that. So check that reply because that is very relevant to you because you're doing BCA. So subscribe to this channel before you go. Like this video if you have liked what I have discussed so far in the video. Okay, share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible. Uh, thank you very much. Stay focused, stay rich and see you in the next live.